This is what lies ahead. Here goes. Hello, fine people of the interwebs. It is I, Sarah, the girl who reviews cars in abandoned buildings. And today I have this 2020 Acura RDX A Spec. It's like a Type R powered mommy missile that's all wheel drive, except it's not really Type R powered because that's a K20C1. This is a K20C4. That's more like the engine found in the Accord Turbo, except it's got a different ECU tune. And this is all wheel drive. Anyway, we'll get to the nerdy bits in a little bit. First, let's talk about the pretty bits. That was a baby dragonfly. That's so sad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven jewel eyes in the jewel eye LED headlights. They're so pretty. Ooh, that's a wasp. It also has LED fog lights. And the best part of all is all this gloss black trim, even down the side of the doors. No chrome, gloss black the way it should be, especially on pearl white, mm, looks good. That is ridiculous. The logo on the front is the size of my face. It's bigger than any hamburger bun I've ever seen before. Are you a front mount intercooler or the radiator? I think you are a front mount intercooler. These right here are shark fin gray 20 by eight wheels. That's how bougie Acura is. They couldn't just call it gray. They had to call it shark fin. 255-45 Goodyear Eagle RSAs. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. White is the best color choice for the RDX except it gets dirty really fast. I wanna see something really impressive. You can almost best the tailpipes on this thing. They're enormous. That was poor wording on my part. Hey, there's a bunch of hikers over there. They're probably wondering what I'm doing. As far as the interior goes, we're gonna get straight to the point here. I'm gonna give you my physical observations from sitting in this 2020 Acura RDX A-Spec. No fluff, no measurements, none of that boring crap. So, the red leather seats with the black perforated suede in the center are on point. Love the way they look. As far as comfort goes, average, bolstering, meh. These seat backs are plastic. Kind of reminds me of an airplane seat stuck for your barf bag in there. It's got two USB charge ports. Also has the suede on the dash. Right below it has a brushed aluminum piece that flows onto your door cards. And right below it, I love the little brushed aluminum panel that goes around the ELS 3D sound system, which is the best feature about the RDX Aspect. The sound system in here is amazing. I have to thought before the Mark Levinson sound systems in Lexus were my favorite. No, nah. this ELS 3D Studio sound system in here, new favorite. Ooh, the button for the headrest to slide it forward is really accessible from the people in the rear seat. So if you want to be a real douche sitting back here and mess with the person that's riding shotgun, they make it nice and easy for you. Big fan of this little slidey guy in the center here. You can move it back like a garage door and store your drinks in here. And there's also a plug for your smartphone and then slide it back if you want to hide it and tuck some penguins away. Does this fold down? Ooh, it's got red suede in the center here. Well, it's, maybe it's felt. It's got some red fabric in here. It's so soft. There's also a pass-through underneath the center console, kind of like you have in the Civic, which is nice if you're the type of person that puts a lot of junk in your vehicle. At least you can hide some of it underneath there. I recommend not keeping junk in the car, just in the trunk. The panoramic roof on this thing, I have to hold it if you want it to go all the way, is huge. The roof ends right above my head in the back seat. That's what's up. Wait for it. Keep waiting for it. Okay, enough of that. Ooh, speaker, speaker. Keep waiting for it. Still keep waiting for it. Speaker. Now it's shut. There's 16 speakers in here. That's why they call it 3D. Whoop. Hello again, back up front. That means it's time to drive the RDX A-Spec. Push button start. As far as the gauges go, a little mixture of digital and analog, nothing over the top. Safety features also, everything you should expect for a vehicle, it's $45,000. Nothing groundbreaking there. 
Driving mode wise, there are four driving modes. It starts out in comfort. You can also go to snow. You have sport and sport plus. Sport plus adds a little acceleration, accelerometer on the gauge cluster, as well as a little dot for your turbo boost gauge thing. It's cute. In the name of science, I shall now give it beans. So I'm going to put it into sport mode, which just started the car because it has auto start stop and put it into sport plus going to turn traction control off, which also defeats the stability assistant. And I'll give it a little bit of help on the launch. Ready? Go. Ooh. Ooh, that was a little bit aggressive. Yeah, it's quick, but like I just want a little more. That's not bad. That's not bad. It sounds more aggressive than it is on the inside. It sounds pretty fierce. I just, I want more because I know it's capable of more if you were to tune this. That engine mount is weird. It's got like a torque damper built into the motor mount. Nice hood struts. Hello and welcome to Garage Science with Sarah. Powering this 2020 Acura RDX A-Spec is Honda's K20C4. And as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, this is not the Civic Type R engine, which is the K20C1. However, they are both loosely based on the same engine. This one, however, produces 272 horsepower at 6,500 RPM and 280 pound-feet of torque at 1,600 to 4,500 RPM. But what's truly impressive under the hood of this thing is the fact that the washer fluid bottle is black. I've never seen a washer reservoir made out of black plastic before. A fun fact I discovered when doing research on this thing was the fact that the exhaust manifold is manufactured into the cylinder head, similar to the B58 engine that is found in the new Mark V Supra as well as BMW Z4. And the benefit of that is the fact that this is liquid cooled by the engine coolant, which helps cut down on EGTs. It's time for the braking test. No one behind me? Here goes. Hi, I'm back. Drivetrain found in the RDX is a 10 speed automatic transmission paired to Acura's super handling all wheel drive. As you notice, it is a transversely mounted engine, but it can transfer up to 70% of the power to the rear wheels and then torque vector and torque multiply that to the left and right sides up to 100%, actually more than 100% because it's torque multiplying, so that'd be many percent. I suck at math, so I'm not even gonna try, but it's lots of torques. It's actually not too bad to chuck through some corners. This transmission is capable of dropping up to four gears on a downshift, so when you need the power, it gives it to you rather quickly. and location change. I'm out in the middle of the desert and I know some of you are watching this right now in a cold location because it is December. At least when I made this video it was December. It's 71 degrees outside and sunny here. I just thought I'd share that with you. You're welcome. All right let's go tear up some dirt roads. Whew. Let's be real this thing is riding on 20s shark fin gray 20s so i'm not gonna do any crazy off-roading because i don't want to scratch one of these wheels on a large rock Ooh, i think i got a wheel in the air hey 
Hey now. I can see a good line and I don't see a lot of sharp rocks. So I actually might be able to do this. Let's try putting the dynamic mode in snow. Hey, we're doing it. Someone drove a Harley down this. They're brave. Good. Good, good. This thing's got a little bit more of an approach angle than I thought it did. It does not have cameras in the front though, so it's kind of a downside. I'm gonna start angling my tire now to help catch the hill. Over here. There we go. There we go. Okay. Ooh, I'm teeter tottering. Give it the beans. Ooh. Go, 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 go. Good job, Acura. Good job. Tires still fully inflated didn't even deflate the tires this is what lies ahead i don't think the acura is going to do this there's a lot of sharp rocks down here i even put some in that little valley but i still don't think i want to take a chance with 20 inch wheels trying to go up this especially without having good tires you can see from this angle if i were to slide on that hill i could really screw up a wheel on those rocks right there and if i go over the edge I die. I think the RDX could do it with different wheel and tire, no problem, but it's not my vehicle. I don't want to damage it. So it did not make it to the top of this hill. Sorry, Honda Acura folks to let you down, but I'm by myself and it's just not worth the risk. Let's just say that backing back down this trail is uh, not easy either. I just keep rechecking everything. I get out if I have to, recheck where I'm positioned, where my tires are going to be, and I just keep going. There's nowhere to turn around up here, so I have to do the whole thing in reverse. So I'm, I'm back down. Fuel economy wise, over the past week I've had the RDX, I've averaged 21.8 miles per gallon which is not the greatest, but I have been having fun driving it. It's kind of weird. At times it's laggy and other times I feel you just hit the throttle in the sweet spot with your foot and it punches you back in the seat, like right now. <laughs> so if you guys have never seen one of my reviews before, I have a really strange way of rating cars. Maybe one day I'll come up with a new one. Anyway, normally I do a bean score for street reviews. And then off-road do a meatball score, but this one's kind of a hybrid review. So we're gonna go with vegan meatballs. They're meatballs made out of black beans. So it kind of encompassing the bean and the meatball. So the 2020 Acura RDX A-Spec is going to get a rating of 1.5 vegan bean balls. Come on, the fact this thing's on 20 inch wheels with these tires, I didn't deflate them at all to help me. And I was able to back down this hill without damaging any of the wheels or the vehicle. I say that's an accomplishment. I put better wheel and tire on here if I was gonna go off-roading with it, but it's not what this is designed for. It's designed for hauling babies on snowy roads and having fun. And it has a lot of tunability, which I appreciate. So I like it. Thank you, future Sarah, for letting me know what it was rated because I recorded this beforehand. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this review and I'll see you soon with another. Bye. Good job. Oh, it stinks like a skunk. Oh,